So in this session, we will see uh, about appearance tool and structure tool uh, using sandbox. So first we will see appearance tool and uh, why uh, this appearance tool is needed. And then we will see uh, how to use structure tool also. Um, so let me directly uh, uh, go through the system. Okay. So this is our uh, fusion system, right? Um, so here, appearance tool. So what appearance tool will, uh, will do is to change the UI, uh, the theme, uh, to change the UI or theme. Uh, of an application, we can use this appearance tool uh, to modify. Suppose uh, if I want to change the logo for this company, right? So I can use appearance tool. Then if I want to apply a different theme uh, instead of uh, instead of giving uh, this set, this this way, the navigator and all right so not not navigator but this icons so if i want to give in a different way to display this groups and icons uh, we i can we can we can change that or currently all these icons right uh, in 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 white color right so if i want to change this text color or the format right of this text or buttons color. So basically, uh, wherever the common components are available, so it will apply those changes uh, to that. So now, um, so to in order to uh, make those changes, first we need to create a sandbox. So in previous class, uh, in previous session, we saw about sandbox how to create a sandbox, right? Those things we have we have seen already. So now I'll directly go to configuration and I'll create a sandbox. So, so if I want to make some change, right? I need to use sandbox. So even if you go without sandbox to appearance tool, so where exactly appearance tool will be there is uh, in configuration. In configuration, you have this appearance tool and structure tool. So in order to use this, we should use sandbox. If we go without sandbox, it will not activate or it will not be in editable mode. Now I'll create a new sandbox. And for now, we just need structure and appearance. So I'll select that, create, enter. So if you are in publishable mode, so you can activate uh, the additional tools later. But if you select non-publishable sandbox, you will not see this add option. Okay. So now to go to appearance tool, you can quickly go go from this tools or you can go from navigator. For now, I'll use this appearance. Okay. Here, uh, we have uh, different themes, predefined themes. We have uh, different predefined themes. Suppose uh, if I want to apply by default, Currently, it is uh, chosen as a vision default. So this is the layout. Okay. So there is a default layout. Just tr I'll try to apply this. Okay. Now it will come with the Oracle logo. Okay. Let's see uh, 
i think it is same the you the theme is exactly same just the logo is the only difference is the logo okay now if we go to with a uh, different uh, theme um example let me take this so we can't apply the same thing just uh, we just need to save as and uh, maybe we can apply So this is another theme. Now, if I just go to the UI, uh, the home screen, so we can see a different UI with a different color. Now you see all the uh, icons in Springboard, right? Is changed. So now we have a different theme. So where the groups are, these are the groups. And within this group, we have this icons, same service and uh, me procurement etc so it will just rearrange in a different team and these are some dashboard uh, uh, dashboard areas sales info let service info lets then uh, user defined info let something like that different different modules and navigator So navigator will be mostly same, just uh, the icon, only the fonts uh, or the sizes will be uh, just will change, but rest all will be same. Font, the text color, so might change, but it will be same mostly. Um, let me load again. Okay, so now you see the navigator expanded uh, in the in the whole screen in it, right? So previously we have uh, only in this area, so it arranged vertically now it is arranged uh, horizontal also okay so now now the recommended one is uh, the the default thing we need to choose the default one uh, but it, it is not compulsory so the because it's a uh, so Oracle will call it as something like Redwood theme. Uh, they have uh, some predefined um, uh, theme. So the by default, it will come with that. So we can change according to according to the uh, according to our company um, themes. This is also a different theme. where uh, we don't have uh, the spring springboard so now what we will do is we will go with the vision default itself because mostly we will be using this uh, theme 
and uh, oh, this is predefined, right? So we will save as this. Okay. So this doesn't have some changes. Okay, so in this theme, some are some some components are not editable. But let me um, just uh, update the logo. So we can choose the logo image here. So we can choose a different image here and then we can update. So that is the uh, that is the place here. Just we need to select the image with the compatible size of uh, this area, right? So we just need to take care uh, with a specific size for this logo and we will update that logo here. So it will change the logo. And if you want uh, the cover image also, the background image, so you can choose the background background image also. So if you have, uh, if you want to use predefined, you can use, or uh, if you have a URL, you can just provide that URL here. Or if you have a file, you can upload it. If you don't want, you can just choose new. So now currently we are in this tab, Teams. Now, if you switch to home page display, you have a few options. Uh, so that are this new suite, things to fin finish and announcements. So if you want to disable or enable or reorder, so you can do that. To disable, you just need to click on here. So you will get an option to choose or rename or reorder, then apply. So if you are choosing uh, this te template, right? So you will not have, you will, you, you don't, you don't have much changes to uh, modify. So let me show you a different template where you, you will have most uh, you can change mostly. Mm, if you go to the dark blue one. Yeah. So here we have the page template, uh, panel, panel view, banner view. So the, the one we see, we saw is banner layout. So now I'll just switch to panel layout. Let me see the difference. So this is our home page. Okay. So in panel view, this one came uh, in a vertical mode. So previously it was in um, a horizontal, right? So this came in vertical and rest all is same. And uh, the navigator is also same type. And uh, if you want to set again background image, you, you have the same option here. Then global region background color. So it is uh, currently transparent. So if you want to uh, choose some color, you can choose global text and icon color. So you can choose that color as well. Uh, background color. So it is currently this blue. So you can also check the preview here uh, for some. So when you change some color, right? See, when you change some color, it will apply a preview here. So you can, you can review. Will apply in some global text, I think. 
then cover image uh uh in in background right so uh, this com cover image also we can apply let me just I'll try to use this image Let me select. I'll see this, why it is not applying. Uh, then I can't type whether it's solid or outline. So you can just see the difference here. And then size, size of the icons. So medium, large, and then extra large. So this, I, these are the options available. Then image color. So currently it is transparent. So if you want some image color, so you can see this group indicator so that is this one so let me apply yeah this one then label color okay something like this then background shape Currently it is circle. So if we want to make it square, so we can make rounded square, we can do that. Background color, multicolor monochrome. Yeah. If you select multicolor, so it it applies a different color for same uh, different group uh, icons. If you use monochrome, so it will apply same color. And then, uh, so this is coming to navigation icons, right? So this is general. So this applies for all uh, uh, all pages. Then this applies only for the navigation icons, like in uh, in Navigator or the Springboard. Now, if I apply, so this will apply to the Springboard. Okay, now coming to pages, uh, the heading color, link color. So in, in, in our application, there might be links and uh, headings, selections, highlight. If you, if you want to, uh, if you just highlight something, then card styles, uh, landing page, right? Uh, for employees. So let me change this to... Uh, then buttons. If we if we were in in the pages, we have buttons, right? Borders, background, color. Uh, so all these things we can just uh change and apply. 
So as we as we saw already in Vision in the default theme, this these options are not available. And if we go to uh, the home page, so we can see the cover image, etc. And and uh, then you just apply so if you want to set some uh, the panel photo right so there is an option to use this one i think this is the one let me okay this social panel tab is this one actually so if we go to uh, the screen, so this tab, right, is called social panel. So now uh, Oracle is discontinued this this one, the social panel. So this might not be applicable for uh, in future. So this social panel is removed, removed. That's why I think we are seeing empty. So, so these are the changes that uh, we can do using appearance. Okay. So next we will go with uh, the structure tool. Uh, one important note is so this appearance and structure tools will up will apply for all the modules. Like if you are using financial